Another new feature we have inside Camtasia 2020 is this idea of a magnetic track. What magnetic tracks does is it just removes all space continually inside any of your tracks. So you pick the track or multiple tracks and it will just, anytime there's space, it'll get rid of that space, that gap. So let's see how that works in Camtasia. So here I am in the project and I have these multiple items placed throughout my timeline. And I see on the left here, there's this new magnet icon and that enables magnetic tracks. If I click that, notice now for track two, both of those items were completely sucked down to the beginning. And it also shows me these chevrons, these like arrows saying, we're gonna put anything that goes here is gonna get pushed down to the left. We're not gonna leave any gaps. I can do the same thing here on track one. I can enable magnetic tracks and we see the same thing happen there. Now, if I turn that off, I can move things around, no problem. Turn it back on. And now if I try to move this out, can't do it. Why? Because magnetism is turned on. I'll turn this track's magnetism off for now. And again, if I try and put this up here, what, what, what? Right, you can't, I can't put it right here. I can't move it over there. Why not? Magnetism is turned on. It's going to bring it all the way to the left. Okay, so even when we try to move something, we can't move it to exactly the spot we want with magnetism turned on. Now, if we did want a gap, one of the things we can do is we can grab any kind of asset. So maybe I'll grab this asset and I'll just sneak it in the middle here. And then what I'll do is I'll just change its opacity down to nothing. And then I can resize its duration to come out to wherever I want. So now I see the group and then nothing there. And then the group comes back. 